Hello, my friend. <laughs> Applause for all of us. We made it through another week and we're really close to summer. I feel it, it's coming. The school year is almost over and life will be a little bit more. <sighs> I mean, I'm sure where you are, it's a little warmer, isn't it? Hopefully. Well, today the new Star Wars trailer was released and it looks so good. I will have a link down below so that you could see that. It is uh, being touted as the final installment in the Skywalker saga. <laughs> that means the next Star Wars, they like to do them in threes. Uh, what do you call that? Three part series, three quote, no. Um, Star Wars series? Yes, yeah, series. The next three. What, 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 there's a name for that. I don't know. The next three will be about something else. Although I really like Daisy Ridley. It would suck if they got rid of her. Anyways, finally, Oprah Winfrey is speaking out about the backlash that she received when she chose to interview the Leaving Neverland accusers. Michael Jackson's accusers, Wade Robson and James Safechuck. After Oprah's interview aired, she ghosted social media for almost a month or so. Part of me thinks that was because of all of the negative attention she was getting from some Michael Jackson fans. Oprah last night appeared on The Colbert Show and she said, when I first saw that documentary, I realized a lot of people were going to get triggered watching it and that a lot of people will not understand what the pattern is because I had done a 217 shows on the Oprah Winfrey show trying to get people to understand that it's not about one person, it's about the pattern, it's about the seduction. And that was important enough to call, to take, to me, to take the hateration. And she went on to say about her support for Wade and James saying, quote, I have not wavered. Brava, brava. She also goes on to say that when women and men, people, humans have trauma happen to them, sometimes they may not remember a specific date. Was it a Tuesday or a Wednesday? Was it before the train was built or after? So she still believes these men. And I thought it was very important for her to share and amplify these voices. And that documentary was a, a powerful moment of 2019. Also, and there is a direct parallel here. There are some Michael Jackson fans who will never accept that he is guilty. Just like there are a lot of Johnny Depp fans who refuse to believe the allegations against him by Amber Heard. Well, these two continue to have a battle very publicly, a war of words in new court documents, Amber once again alleges in detail the abuse that she suffered at the hands of Johnny Depp and allegedly as a result of his drug and alcohol abuse. I don't need to go into it. The link will be down below if you want to read more for yourself. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, these two have been going at it publicly now for a long time. I mean, I don't understand why that story keeps dragging on. In other news, this was just so unfortunate. In the peripheral of the Nipsey Hussle procession, there was a shooting and one person died and three were injured. And that is America. An update on Wendy Williams and all of her drama with her husband. According to reports, over the last couple of weeks, Wendy and Kevin Hunter had been getting into explosive 
fights. Oh, yeah, yeah. It has been reported that Wendy's husband has been physically abusive. And you want to know the rub? The worst thing about all of this is legally because Wendy Williams' husband is an executive producer on her show, he is 99% most likely going to have to be bought out of his contract. So he's gonna make money from his divorce with Wendy Williams, and he's gonna make money from the production company Debmar Mercury. Do you guys think that's fair? I don't know. Part of me thinks it is fair and it just sucks. And part of me doesn't think it's fair. There should be a moralities clause. There should be, there should be some kind of clause that allows them to fire him because of him ruining the reputation of the show. I don't know if he has that, but we shall see. In more updates news, Lori Lachlan is finally coming around to the reality of her situation, which is she is facing some serious jail time. Years, at least a two year minimum, unless she reaches some kind of agreement. And guess what? According to reports, Lori, did I say Laughlin or Lachlan? I'm so conditioned. Ah! <laughs> According to reports, Lori Laughlin, actually, I wonder, Olivia, I, I, let me see if I can find it real quick. Somebody said they saw a video of Lori Laughlin's daughter pronouncing the name, and she said Laughlin. L L Olivia Jade pronounces, pronouncing her name. Let's see. Uh, let's see if she says, sorry, I want to be real quick. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Here we go. Hi, I'm Olivia Jade. Welcome to my channel. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Olivia Jade and welcome to my channel. When do I ever say that in my intro? Come on, I want to hear you say her name. Say, hey guys, it's Olivia Jade. Oh, hey guys, it's Olivia Jade. And welcome to my channel. <laughs> Come on, get to it. Hi guys, it's Olivia Jade. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have a very special guest. Hi, my mom! Say her Ta -da. name. Ta -da. It's my annual say appearance. Her, say her name. Annual appearance on the channel, except say for the vlogs, which when I am in the vlogs. Say her damn name. Sometimes, like, you know when you're in them sometimes? I don't really. But when I'm when I hold the camera and walk around, oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. In I'm today's not... video, as you guys obviously. All right. She, whatever. Lori Lachlan <laughs> is trying to get a deal now, but she's still adamant about a few things. One, she was ignorant. She's claiming she did not know that what she was doing could get her in jail, could lay in her behind bars. She also claims, per a source to People Magazine though, so I find it very reputable, she's deluding herself into saying, oh, I did what any mom would have done. Moms out there, do you agree with that sentiment? Would you have done what Lori Laughlin did? I think I'm gonna just say Laughlin. Are we sure? I don't even know. I need to hear, I need to do more research in here her say her name let me wait one more really quickly Lori Lachlan let me see Lori Lachlan hello my name is Perez Hilton and thank you for checking out my her channel name. Here, here we go here we go here we go Okay, she's gonna be interviewed. It's been nearly 30 years since Lori Lachlan made her debut in one of America's wait, most how, how, wait. families it, how, what did she say? It? It's been nearly 30 years since Lori Lachlan made her debut. She said Lachlan! I was right! Oh my god! I was right! Kathy Lee Gifford said Lachlan! I knew I'm not crazy! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Alright! 
Oops. <laughs> Those TV hosts are prepped before they have guests on and they are told the correct pronunciation. So if Kathy Lee Gifford on the Today Show recently said Lori Loughlin, I'm going with what I was saying all along, Lori Loughlin. <coughs> uh, all right, she's working on a plea deal, blah, blah, blah. Did that, said that, okay. An exclusive for you all. Insiders tell me that Brody Jenner, whom I mentioned earlier in the week, is refusing to film for The Hills, even though he agreed to be on the reboot. He's trying to get more money. It's gone to a whole other level because his wife has reached out to other cast members and is trying to stage a mutiny, basically. Trying to get other cast members to not film. You wanna know the real interesting thing? They're not as dumb as she would like them to be because Brody was always trying to get more money than the rest of the cast members. I'm pretty sure that's why nobody joined Brody and his wife on this walkout because it wasn't like they were trying to negotiate en masse like the Friends cast did. He wanted to get paid more than everybody else. And now that's not working, so the wife is trying to get other people to walk out? No, girl. Mm-mm. No, no, no. In other news of the Hills variety, Hills alum Kristen Cavallari revealed that her husband, Jay Cutler, former NFL star, helped her unclog her boob while breastfeeding. And that just really got me to thinking about breastfeeding because her youngest child turns four in November. And I'm not passing judgment. I'm just curious like what most people do or is there such a thing as what most people do? Is it common to breastfeed a child at three and a half years old? What are the benchmarks for saying, okay, maybe now is not a good idea. You know, maybe we're done doing this and my baby's child is getting enough nutrients from food or a Flintstones multivitamin as well. I don't know. Let me know. And I'm not, and I'm trying to be sensitive. I'm not passing judgment. I'm clearly not a woman. I'm just curious what, uh, what you think or what's common or what people do. Because that, that surprised me. I didn't think three and a half, you're still breastfeeding. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I, if I made a face, it was not on purpose or even subconsciously. In other news, uh, I saw this thing this morning uh, that was a beard straightener, like a flat iron for your beard. And I was tempted to buy it, but I didn't. Because I like it wild. Yeah, yes, I do. All right. Ariana Grande shared uh, a side-by-side -side photo of a regular brain and then her brain as a result of PTSD. Her brain looks very different. Now she has the receipts that being Ariana Grande is not easy. Ay, ay, ay. Uh... Speaking of not being easy, it is not easy doing what now two cast members of Modern Family have done, asking their fans for money for a family member. Wait, I want to put this for the podcast too. Oh, Bepaya. 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 Oh. Okay, okay, ven acá, ven acá. Está bien, mi amor. Ve para allá, mía. Ve para allá, mía. It's not easy. I got. I wanted to make a. It's not easy being Ariel Winter. <laughs> mía, ve para allá adentro. Bueno, que siente y espera, okay? Um. Anyways, <laughs> quieres ir para la casa? Wow. Deja la casa, vamos. No. No. Oh my god. 
Ariel Winter makes a lot of money on a modern family and just like Sarah Highland asked her fans for money. She donated five thousand dollars to her her cousin who's not well. Um Do you think she should have posted that link out there for the world? <laughs> Let's just wrap it up. You know what? Uh, finally, <laughs> Jesse Smollett has been charged by the city of Chicago. They are suing him. They won $130,000 from him. And he's on vacation right now. <laughs> and on that note, thanks for watching, my friends. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, follow, subscribe, share. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Tira un besito. Tira un besito.